on guys chug icy hot here welcome back to another video today and inside of this video i will be doing something a little bit different i usually don't post videos but during the school year i pre-record a ton and well no sorry my dog <laughs> but i um pre-record videos so you have content on my pretty little doggy Say hello to the camera. Say hi to the camera. But today we will be examining Pokemon Sword and Shield. So guys, and I'll move. Let's get into it. Wait, they have more Pokemon? Okay. <laughs> I'll probably be doing Pokemon quests in the future, but let's go to the Pokemon. Alright, so we have... Let's go to the starters. I want to look at the starters to start this off. We have Grookey. He's a mischievous chimp Pokemon that is full of boundless curiosity. Then we have Scrubunny, a rabbit that is always running around bursting with energy. And Sobble, a somewhat timid water lizard. That Pokemon that shoots out attacks and hides itself in water. Now what I think I'm going to pick personally it's probably scrubunny because i always pick the fire type pokemon at the beginning because usually it's either a rock water or grass usually it's grass at the beginning though that you fight with so that's usually what i do when i pick oh yeah and you guys like the green screen actually really nice i like having some of that and i will be doing a setup tour so, if I look like I'm looking at another monitor, it's because there's a monitor right there. That's what I'm looking at. I'm getting way off topic. Let's keep on going. We have a new form-changing Pokemon. He can either change... He is... More Pico. He can change from an electric Pokemon to a dark Pokemon. From a dark Pokemon to an electric Pokemon. It's from what I understand... From this thing. His ability is Hunger Switch. Some Pokemon can change their form often because of the certain effects or items of their own ability. Some of these forms don't simply change the Pokemon's appearance, though. They can also affect its move and change its ability. Now, that's going to be cool, I think. So, when it's hungry... It's always hungry no matter how much it eats. Morpico is constantly generating electricity with the sacks in his cheek. This consuming energy causes Morpico to be constantly hungry. This is why Morpico is always carrying around berry seeds, protecting them with cares they serve as a snack. And then, when experience prolonged hunger, the balances hormones within Morpico's body changes, causes the fur color to change, it triggers an aggressive and violate behavior the energy stored in its cheek sacks in the electric does the the electric type energy to the dark type energy now that is going to be cool that looks cool let's examine like four pokemon this video i'll probably do a part two later so what's zakian it's the legendary type pokemon there is no category no type no height no weight no ability the only thing information we get on this Pokemon is its shining blade can cut through anything. Zacchaeon attacks so gracefully and moves it can even capitate its opponent. And it appears to be a sword in his mouth. Let's go to a Galarian form of Pokemon. Which is, I think we're being in the Galar region of Pokemon. Galaria, Galarian Zigzagoon. The raccoon type Pokemon. The tide is 1 4, it's 38.6 libs. It's pickup. I don't know what an ability is. I haven't played Pokemon forever. So let's keep on looking through. It evolves from Zigagoon to Linoon to Obstagoon. Now, Obstagoon looks really cool. I can't wait to get this Pokemon during the series. So, you must be stay tuned in the channel to know when Pokemon Let's... This is it. Let's go. Pokemon Sword and Shield are released. Let's look up the release date. Pokemon. 
The release date is November 15th, so as soon as it comes out, I will be getting it, and I will be happy to record it for you. Okay, so now let's go into some gameplay things. They can complete jobs and grow stronger through Pokey jobs, apparently. In Galar region, is very for common for people and Pokemon to work together. Many corporations and university request the help of Pokemon, though what are known as Pokey jobs. You can check the available Poke jobs at Raw to Me and Pokemon centers. You will also be able to send Pokemon from your boxes directly to any job you accept. That is really cool, and they will receive experience points from doing that. Lower. It's all about the Pokedex and the Rotom Phone. If you don't, if you haven't played Pokemon Sun and Moon, the Rotom Phone was the Pokedex for this. And any Pokemon that you find or catch during the adventure will have its information registered in a Pokedex. The Pokedex in these titles will actually be part of the Rotom Phone. Your Rotom Phone. Is also a home to Rodham, a Pokemon that can enter his various electric appliances. And your Rodham phone can do a lot more than serve as a Pokedex. Now that really excites me for this game, guys. Hope it excites me you as much as it excites me. Now, Giant Maxing is the last thing I want to go through in this video, this information video that I know and that I'm taking off the Pokemon website. The strange phenomenon known as Dynamaxing can only occur in specific areas of the Galar region. When Dynamaxing seems to be a phenomenon to to enlarge no to common to the Pokemon in Galar, it's been discovered that there is a special phenomenon known as Giant to Maxing too. So there's Dyna, Dynamaxing and Giant to Maxing, and only oh I went too far. And only certain species of Pokemon can be giant to maxed. Even though it's among such species, only rare specimens will be able to giant to max. So only some can dine to max, and someone and only very few can giant to max, is what I think. The majority will be you will keep their usual appearance when dynat dynamaxing, but giant to maxing makes the Pokemon become bigger and just like Dynamaxing, Giant to Maxing will boost the power of the Pokemon. It will also allow each Giant to Maxing Pokemon to use a unique move known as a G move. A G Max move. Each G Max move is particularly specific to its own Pokemon, and the regular Dynamaxing Pokemon cannot use G Max moves at all. So, so you have the normal on the left and the giant to max on the right. Regular regular Dreadnought and Carver Knight can Dynamax, which those are the Dynamax on the left, I think. You can also make these giant to max, which the giant to maxes are on the left. You can catch a giant to maxing Pokemon for your team by per Participating in max raid battles, but it seems to be very rare and not easy to find one. So if you get a giant to max Pokemon, you can DM me on Instagram at chugicyhot. Hope to see you there. Hope to see any information that you also find on the Pokemon game for my next video. It'll probably come out later next week, hopefully. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.